Two and 11, thousands of veterans around our country tonight are currently homeless. Many struggling here at home after serving our nation. Tonight, our Rachel Krause introduces us to a veteran who found a way to build her life back up after dealing with grief and homelessness. And now she's helping her fellow veterans the same way others helped her. It was just overwhelming the amount of support and love that I received as a veteran. And it felt like I was more so part of a family. U.S. Army veteran Deanna Lewis has made herself a home here in central Indiana over these past few months, closely connected to many veterans and services around Indianapolis. But just a year earlier, Lewis found herself in a tough spot. She'd been medically discharged from the Army more than a decade earlier after an incident with a duty truck. Then last year, pregnant and excited to start a family, she'd come up from North Carolina for a visit from her sister. After being here maybe a week is when I actually miscarried and I lost kind of my, uh, my sense of well-being. And so I ended up at the VA Medical Center at the hospital. Grieving and depressed from the loss, Lewis became homeless. She found care at the VA and a place to stay at the residential program. I was able to get mental health services and things that I, I dramatically needed at that time. But once I began to heal and I began to get better, I still was homeless. And one of the things that I knew I would need to do in order to change that state was to find a job. Whenever there's a veteran that is in the progression of getting it ready to go for employment, or in Deanna's case, somebody who has no coat and it's winter time, then we get a call. John Goings, Director of Veteran Services with Easter Seals Crossroads says they're able to connect with veterans in need of help with housing, employment, or resources. He says at last count, there were more than 500 homeless veterans around Indiana, many of them living here in Indianapolis. If you're not working and you're not able to support yourself, then you become, you know, just kind of a shell of yourself when, you know, and that's one of the biggest problems we have with the military is they transition out and everybody kind of falls apart. After starting with the work therapy program at the VA, Lewis now works there full time, monitoring supplies and inventory at the hospital. The same place that cared for her months earlier when she herself was in need. With housing, a full time job and yeah, now a fiance at home, Lewis says she's grateful for the helping hand her fellow veterans gave her and that now she too can help pay it forward. When I got the services there at the VA, I remember exactly how they helped me and how it touched me. And it feels good to be in a position to be able to reach back and, and give someone else that same support. Lewis tells me she wanted to share her story in hopes that it can reach other veterans who are struggling with their mental health and other issues just to know that they can go out and receive these services and not to feel any kind of stigma about it, that the support really is out there. People mm -hmm. want to help. Yeah, happy she's sharing her story. You bet. And that it had a happy ending. Yeah, yeah absolutely. She's having an impact, that's for sure. Rachel, thanks so much.